Hello guys, another video from my car as every Saturday and today I want to talk about two big groups of developers, two different groups that I see on my social media, on Twitter or here on YouTube. I see two big audiences which are different, almost the opposite. So sometimes if I share a quick tip on Twitter for junior developers mostly or for beginners, just a quick Laravel hack about some feature, sometimes senior developers appear in the feed and reply with, you shouldn't do it this way what if this and that you should do it more complicated way so that would be more maintainable or flexible in the future and they are often right but they come from a different place from a different background with a different context for a majority of junior developers working on simple apps which are mostly like crud on steroids the quick ways to do things are more appropriate they deliver quicker they achieve the results everyone is happy until their apps grow grow so significantly so they need to refactor their architecture and go for those complex decisions those seniors mention on twitter so the thing is both groups are right in their comments but the context is so different that i keep thinking that the advice and the content from developers to other developers are really different and almost the opposite if they work on simple projects and if they work on really complex projects for example recently i had a tweet about searching in multiple models in laravel and in a very simple scenario you just make one query or union query or something like that by just using eloquent but then people came commenting what if you have million records in the database you should outsource that to Elasticsearch or algolia or some specific search engine for text search because otherwise you would have performance problems and they're both actually right if you do have million records in your database you should probably refactor that to be more performant but for 90% of projects, well, 90 is a rough number, but for a majority of the projects, it's not a problem. They just need to search in a few eloquent models with database tables with a thousand records each max. Like for example, on my blog on Laravel Daily, I have hundreds of records, not even thousands. So searching them is totally fine. I will never write a million blog posts unless my children and grandchildren will also write about Laravel, which I have doubts. So it's not a problem for me. So all the advice that you see from developers online should be filtered through your lens. At what stage is your project and does it need optimization or getting deeper into other tools, other architectural decisions, or maybe it is time for you to think about those decisions and listen to the senior guys who work with projects on multiple databases, millions of records, huge traffic and stuff like that. Or maybe in your smaller world for your smaller projects, it's totally fine to use the quicker ways, the straightforward ways without premature optimization. In general, I see two different worlds of coding. The juniors who come like on hello world level and crud level, they think they are already developers and they are to some extent, they earn the first money with simple projects, but then there's a whole different world of coding outside of web development, people working on YouTube algorithms, Teslas, software for the phones like the one I'm shooting video on currently, the whole new world with AI and machine learning, so that chat GPT and open AI that you all use under the hood, it's a very complicated logic of modeling the data. So that's way outside of crud world and hello world. That's why I keep thinking there are two, at least two big worlds of developers, those who start from simple projects and those who have experience with much bigger ones. And it's not even a problem. It's just the question for you who to listen to and how to filter the advice from which group. I hope that thought was helpful and see you guys in other videos.